What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a very special video. I'm about to take my king snake out of its cage and we're going to clean the cage up and we're going to go over a few things discussing, you know, how it's been owning a snake for over 30 days now for about a month into snake ownership now. If this is something you are interested in doing, uh, just a few things to be cautious about or maybe a little bit of my experience. So let's hop right into the video. Now, so jumping into the main topic of this video, we are going to go ahead and start cleaning up Phoenix's cage. He's just sitting down, chilling right there. He had a nice little meal the other day, so he got some poop. Got to clean up. And I thought that'd be a great video just to make on the snake. I've been dealing with Phoenix now for about a month now, so definitely got, or a little bit over a month now. Uh, definitely have a lot of, could you say, knowledge, more knowledgeable now than when I first got him. Uh, how he is, everything. So, first things first, we gotta take him out of the cage. And to take him out of the cage, I uh, simply just use a plastic bin to store him until I'm finished cleaning up the cage. So let's see if I can set you guys up somewhere. All right, so first things first, gotta take him out of the cage. See him in there, he's chilling. Um, first thing I just use is a plastic bin, you got some holes in it. Simply take him out of there. And it's simple after that. Just gotta take him out the tank. He really loves this new um, light that he got set up on here. Hey there, buddy. First thing I always do, rub him on the back. And you can see right now I'm petting him on his back and stuff and he's doing nothing. Him up. There you go. Oh, he is nice and warm. Very nice and warm. <laughs> I've never felt him this warm, and he loves it. He was definitely taking a nice little nap when I got him up um, <laughs> on his little basking spot. He really loves that light a lot. He's getting a little pale. I wonder if he's about to shed again. Be insane if he does. Since I've had him now for about a month, he's definitely grown, uh, been feeding him more than what he's used to being fed. Um, when we first, when I first got him, he was eating one mouse a week. Now he's up till two. I was going to continue to feed him one mouse a week like the previous owner, but the pet store person said, hey, you know, for an adult king steak, they should be eating at least uh, a small rat a week or a mouse or two mouse a week uh, so that's kind of where I shifted it at and uh, now he's doing one rat one small rat a week and then uh, either two mice a week so yeah, look at this guy he is definitely getting more pale so I should expect to see him in shed very, very soon. Um, he probably won't be active at all this week. Usually when a snake goes into shed, they will be less active. Then they'll just start hiding for a few days because when a snake goes in shed, their visibility is low. So they hide to get away and be protected. And that's kind of what I'm seeing in him right now. He definitely does look a lot pale. His underbelly is really pale. All the black stripes on him is very pale. So it definitely looks like he's about to go inside shed. So now to get into actually cleaning the tank, uh, very easy. Let me reset up the camera and uh, we'll jump and show you guys how to do this. First off, what you wanna do is you wanna take your pet, your little reptile. Uh, just put him in a safe place. You don't wanna step on him on accident or anything like that. Take care of him. And then now it's time to clean the tank. So usually what I do to clean the tank is I will just spot scoop. So whatever little spots I see that needs to be cleaned up, just simply scoop it up. Um, paper towels right here because you definitely don't want to pick this stuff up with your hand completely. And then uh, I have to go throw this away anyway in a few minutes. So I just got a Rice Krispie Treat box. Um, maybe I'll leave a few for Phoenix. <laughs> So just remove any items. 
might be in the way from cleaning. Simple as that. Find your copper and then uh, scoop it up. Now I got all the cage cleaned up. It's time to put them back in, but before I put them back in, I um, thought I'd show you guys some tips and info and everything so far about my experience so far with owning a snake. All right, so now we have Phoenix out the cage. I wanted to talk a little bit about Phoenix. Uh, Phoenix, if you didn't know, he is a California king snake. This is a non-venomous snake. Um, obviously, if he would bite you, where are you going, dude? Obviously, if he would bite you, um, you would feel a little bit of pain, but it wouldn't be severe. Um, rub it off with some Germex or something like that after and you're good to go. He is mostly commonly found kind of like in fields just around your house and stuff. He's, he's kind of a common snake. He is a, about two, three years old um, from what the previous owner says. King snakes are definitely a lot more active compared to other snakes. Uh, this is about as big as he's going to get. He's going to add a little bit of lymph and stuff to him, but he's definitely not super going to be like super thick like uh, some of these anacondas and stuff or uh, pythons. His main diet uh, consists of, you know, like mice, geckos and stuff, um, little, <laughs> little like household or things around the house like that. And you can just see, you guys can see on the activity level, I thought this would be a lot easier filming him and just holding him like this, but <laughs> he's being very active today. I feed him once a week in terms of you know food. I feed them one small rat a week. Lately, they didn't have any small rats, so I had to feed them two small mice a week. And uh, yeah, that's that's purely how it is. It's cool to have a chill pet. It does, it's very, very low maintenance. I mean, I feed him once a week, I clean his cage up once a week, I add water once a week. Uh, total maintenance, I mean, is very, very low. Every now and then, I'll go ahead and I'll um, add some more substrate, Ooh. substrate to his cage and clean out the old substrate. That happens about once a month, and uh, maybe a little bit more, maybe about every five to six weeks. And overall, it's a really cool pet to own. I like to use it in the terminology of like it's kind of like owning a fish, you know. Um, you don't really play with them, you don't really cuddle with them and stuff. Snakes can't really love you or catch feelings for you, like say a dog or something, not like super loyal. Um, they're a really cool pet though to have. Um, definitely a <laughs> uh, something cool to share with like your friends and stuff like that and other people. Um, really cool. So far, experience of owning one, no problems at all. I definitely enjoy it a lot. Interesting fact, snake body language. Uh, that's, I think learning snake body language is a big key and that made me feel more confident with handling my reptile. Uh, snake body language, first off, um, if they are just roaming around like this, they got their tongue flickering and stuff, that means they're a curious snake, that means they're not trying to strike you or anything like that, they're not trying to do anything to you, uh, they are purely just trying to chill. Um, and that's pretty much what he is doing right now, at this moment. Uh, if they tense up and stuff, and they, they're not flickering their tongue, but they're not really, you know, moving their body much, uh, you know, maybe just kind of feel tense, uh, it just means they're stressed. And then after they're stressed, they will generally, if they don't want to be messed with, they will let off a kind of like a musk, or like a, they'll musk, which is just like a stinky smell, and also to the same time, they'll let off a hiss. Uh, I don't know if all snakes do it, but I know king snakes purely do it, or, or do it for sure. Um, he has hissed at me, I think, about three, four times, so that's like their last, like, hey, look, I don't want to be messed with, leave me alone, or I will bite you. Um, obviously, if you, you're dumb enough, you know, not to mess with it, or if you're dumb enough to continue to mess with them, maybe you just need to get them out of a cage or something like that, first something important, 
Um, he'll usually kind of form an S shape with his head and that's when he'll pull his tongue back in. He'll put his head down like that and that's when he's ready to strike. So that's something you need to, that's something you can learn about snake body language and stuff. Uh, if you understand snake body language and understand it, you can feel a more confident when handling them like this. Like this whole time, he's just been chilling. He's a curious snake right now, and he's simply just flickering his tongue everywhere. So he is cool. He is chill. Um, really, really, really cool snake to own. Really cool animal to own. Um, I've always had a huge fear of snakes. Uh, never liked them at all. But I've got to learn them. I've watched a bunch of videos on YouTube. Uh, Chandler's Wildlife. Wildlife is a really good one. Tyler Nolan. Tattoos is a really good one. Uh, I follow these guys on a day-to-day -day basis. I watch every video they post on a day-to-day -day basis. That kind of gave me some confidence and stuff. Um, and also to just understanding snakes and stuff. Understanding their behavior. Understanding um, their life. Or understanding them as a whole. And not just living with the same... Uh, you know subconscious fears that's just I've grown up with that snakes are bad snakes are um, You know snakes are gonna kill you, you know snakes just run around striking people. They're all poisonous, you know stuff like that I guess once you're understanding it, it's uh, It allows you to be more open to them and uh, chill with them so But all right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and put Phoenix back in his cage. I'll let you guys see a little bit more of them if it's gonna focus um, he is definitely about to go in shed when he does go inside of shed. Uh, I won't see him for a few days. So I definitely glad that I was able to make this video and uh, we're going to go ahead and put Phoenix back in his cage and it will see everything. Um, I guess you could say it's a new little cage. So. so a few more things about the cage itself. All that is is a like fish tank type enclosure. That's super simple to get. Um, get these for up for like. This one I think was a custom built one, but otherwise, it's nothing super fancy. You just want to make sure you have some really good locks on it so your reptile doesn't escape. Uh, in terms of the actual cage setup itself, all of this is some like mulch. Uh, specifically made, it's mulch. I guess it's just overpriced mulch at the pet store. I don't know if they really do anything, out of, anything else different, but it's more for pets. And then yeah, you get your water bowl. There's a heating pad below. You can see it. Heating pad below, so you want a cool spot, warm spot in the cage. And then I just recently added this because the temperature was way down in the 70s consistently. And for a snake, you want about 75 to 90. For a king snake, every snake's different. Some need more, some need less. So that's it. That's the setup. He chills around the cage and stuff. Uh, really cool, like I said, really cool animal to own. And uh, yeah. That's pretty much my experience. Pretty much my experience now with them and owning them for over a month now. And um, <clears throat> yeah, really cool, really enjoy it. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I know it's kind of put together last minute. And uh, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I make lifestyle vlogs and stuff every now and then a snake video um business and marketing related content thank y'all for watching see you guys later peace